If you're looking for alternative investments that can bring you pleasure, practicality, and returns, then you might want to consider investing in Oriental carpets. The most expensive carpet sold on record was auctioned in Sotheby's for 33.5 million US dollars last June 2013. And during a recent Oriental carpets auction held by Christie's last October, a rare Mille Fleur star lattice carpet from Kashmir was auctioned for $7.7 .7 million, double its expected selling price. While it's unlikely that you will be lucky enough to find a rare carpet languishing in a shop for a low price and turn it around for a huge profit, there is money to be made. Shemul Sameya, an Iranian oriental carpet expert based in Singapore, says the things to look out for when buying a carpet for investment are color, color combination, design, condition, age, and the weaver's signature. It should be hand knotted oriental carpet, no matter is from India or from Iran, Persia, or Afghanistan, or other countries like Anatolia and so on. All of them, they are handmade. Of course, it's important to buy your carpet from a reputable dealer, so make sure you do some research and ask those who collect oriental carpets to recommend someone. Oriental rugs come from Iran, India, Russia, China, Tibet, Nepal, and Morocco. These are made of silk, wool, or a mix of both. Mr. Sameya says to ensure they are hand knotted and not machine made, check the underside of the carpet. If the design doesn't look exactly the same as the front, then it's machine made, which makes it simply decorative and of no investment value. What makes a rug more valuable is what the weaver has put into it. He says weavers who put their personal visions into the design are sought after. Collectors, they are looking for say, such an unusual design, not Central Medallion and mm -hmm. Shabazi design. They are looking for the specific pieces which is unusual design is. Nobody has it. Yes. So this is a collectible item. As long as a carpet is in good condition, the older it is, the more expensive it usually is. Mr. Samea says it's possible for new investors to spend just a few hundred dollars on a collectible rugs. New rugs tend to be cheaper, but it's also dependent on the weaver, material, and design. These are still collectible, provided the quality is there. You can buy collectible item for two, three hundred dollars. Can. How? I'll show you one. We have just sold one piece. Okay. Very cheap, mm -hmm. because I bought cheap also. And this is a Belucci mm -hmm. from uh, East Persia. Um, not 100% perfect condition, mm -hmm. because of age. It's over 100 years old. Very nice, uh, fish, with a fish design, mahi design, fish design. Uh, small size. Uh, people use it sometimes for prey, sometimes for decoration. So I bought cheap, then I give him a cheap. Like any investment, make sure you get a certificate of authenticity. That should include the carpet number, name, size, and age. Like anything valuable, make sure you insure your carpet. Return on investment varies on supply and demand. Those that currently own collectible rugs have an appreciating asset, since many carpet-producing countries have fewer weavers as these countries become more industrialized. Today, robust developing economies such as India, China, and the Middle East are producing consumers who possess the sophistication to value Persian carpets and have the money to buy them. Warehouses that used to have vast inventories of oriental carpets are rapidly dwindling and will not be replaced. If you've bought a valuable carpet and want to resell it, Mr. Samea says you can sell it through a trusted dealer or through an auction house. Collectors can check the prices in collectors' magazines and get an idea of what their carpet might sell for. People, um, they keep the carpet for a long time, all right, and check the prices in Harley magazine. There's a magazine printed in London, okay, and give us the result of the each top auction houses. Then we know, for example, one Karachov, for example, uh, from Caucasian, or one Persian silk carpet from uh, 19th century, sold at that auction so much. 
And we know that that was in 10 years ago, maybe 20 uh, 20% less. Sometimes happen opposite. Because the children, they're selling the carpet with the knowledge and uh, uh, people, they have money, <laughs> they, they go to buy and buy cheaper. You know what yes. I mean? And keep the carpet and, and five, 10 years uh, later, they're selling double. Like any investment, research is important. But as a luxury investment that you might be spending your fun money on, you'll want to choose a carpet that appeals to you as a source of pleasure. Remember, the most important thing about investing in oriental carpets is the emotional return. Anything extra is icing on the cake.